They did it. They really did it. When On1 announced that they were coming out with No Noise AI, I was certainly curious. My interest was piqued, but I thought, well, let's see how it goes. It's version one of a product, but I got to say, I feel like they pretty much knocked it out of the park. Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. This is my first look video at On1 No Noise AI. It's version 1.0. It feels like it's version three or four. Honestly, it's a, it's a great product. It's got a lot of great things about it. It performs incredibly well on high ISO images, and uh, I'm really happy about this. A few things to mention, it's AI-based noise reduction, so it's got both luminance and color noise reduction while maintaining crisp details. It's also got their progressive sharpening built in, which varies the sharpening based on the size of the detail. The small, medium, and large details get progressively sharpened. It's also got AI-based demosaicing, which is basically when you convert a raw file into a viewable format. That's the demosaicing process, which to be clear, I'm not an expert on. If you want to read about it, I recommend doing a Google search. But by combining noise reduction with demosaicing, they got better noise reduction and better detail retention slash enhancement. It really, it worked great. Also, this thing is fast. You, uh, I will show you, it adjusts in real time, so no more waiting and waiting for something to rebuild and calculate, it just works. And by the way, hey, if you're a Fuji photographer and you've got Fuji files, and I'll show you one because I now have a Fuji camera, it also works with Fuji RAW files. It's also got AI-based detail enhancement, so it recognizes the textures in an image, uh, in an image and can enhance those specifically without adding noise. It's incredibly powerful, and yet it's just got a few simple controls, so it makes it basically easier to use and to get up to speed with quickly. And one of the greatest things about it, I think, and I'm gonna have to demo this in a future video, and that is it has layers. And so what you could do is actually apply different amounts of noise reduction or sharpening and detail enhancement to different parts of the photo, and then just combine those and mask them in. It's incredibly powerful. That's why I think they knocked it out of the park. Let's get into the demo. Okay, here's an image you can see. This is a shot with my Sony camera. ISO 10,000 f 2.8. It's just like an old thermometer that's on uh, the back patio of my house. And what I wanna do is show you this real-time enhancement in terms of how powerful and great this product performs. So, color noise. I'm gonna start with that. If you look at it, you can see some splotchy kind of purpley colors, and as I drag this to the right, they disappear, and when I get to 100, they're essentially gone. Now, the next thing is luminance. Now, this is going to be, you're going to notice it really well over here. And by the way, can you tell the difference between these two sides? As I drag this back and forth, you can see more of that purple pink, and now you can see less of it. But let me show you this luminance noise reduction. Look at the out of focus area, kind of the bokeh area, if you will, on the right hand side. As I drag this to the right, you're gonna see that adjust as I go. It's no more drag it, wait for it to calculate. And so this is a great way to just quickly get to the level of noise reduction that you want. I tend to like things really smooth, but some people might be film aficionados and want a little bit of green kind of noise in it. Well, there you go, you can quickly and easily get to that. I'm gonna go ahead and go to 100 and just look how beautiful that is. And by the way, I'm still really crisp here on these numbers on this thermometer, but yet over here on this right-hand side, that noise reduction, both color and luminance is honestly, it's pretty mind-blowing. So I'm pretty fired up about that. If you can't tell, I'm gonna go ahead and enhance the details a little bit. I'm gonna get a little bit of this progressive sharpening as well. And one of the risks in doing these kind of things, enhancing detail and sharpening, is that you bring back noise. It's, it's you know, the term I like to use is a delicate dance between how do you smooth it and how do you keep it crisp. But honestly, I mean, look at these numbers. These look fantastic. I've added back some detail and done some sharpening, and yet I've got the maximum amount of luminance and color noise, and these things look fantastic. So that's the first example. Let me show you some more. Okay, by the way, if you're interested in purchasing this product, I have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you purchase something off of that link, your cost is the same. They pay me a small commission for sending you their way. It just helps me out a lot. It's a great way and a free way for you to support me in this channel. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is that I do have a build prior to release. And so they were able to give me an early release of this thing and I've been playing with it. So I wanted to clarify just in case things might be slightly different at launch. I don't think they are, but I wanted to point out that this is a pre-release copy of the product. 
Okay, so here's just a little palm in my yard. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna zoom in a lot. I'm gonna go to 225 so you can take a look at this. Now, the split screen, the split screen doesn't show any difference, of course, because I've done nothing, but I wanna show you as I drag color noise, there's not a whole lot in this photo, but the luminance noise, let me tell you, look at how quickly that happened and how smooth it is. And yet, take a look at this little bug here, and he still looks pretty good, right? Um, despite being a tiny, tiny portion of the photo, which, let me show you the navigation, you can see how zoomed in we are. It's 225 uh, on the zoom. So, I mean, we're, we're way close, way closer than I would normally be. And look at how great this looks. I mean, these little palm fronds look good, the bug looks good, and that noise reduction is honestly off the charts. Okay, here's a recent sunset that I shot. This one is ISO 5000, and this is something more similar to what I normally shoot. I don't typically shoot bugs or thermometers, but I thought they were good examples. But I definitely shoot this kind of stuff, and just take a look at what the noise reduction has done with the sky and the water, and yet the buildings down here look fantastic. And so I can increase that detail. You can see I've just kind of played around with it, but if you look over here at these buildings, definitely a little bit softer, and now they're much crisper and yet uh, I don't feel like I've picked up any kind of noise or anything like that in doing so. And this sky, I think, honestly, just looks incredible. There you go, one more time, back and forth. So really powerful, and as you can see, quick and easy and super, super responsive. Okay, here's a Fuji photo. Now this one actually doesn't have a whole lot of noise. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, but um, let me just show you the info if you'd like to look. It's ISO 1000 F2 with my X100V. It's a great little Fuji camera, I love it. Um, so not really a lot of noise in this photo, but I think it looks fantastic regardless. But I wanted to show you up here um, the difference between the sky before and after. You can see quite a big difference there without losing any uh, potential I'm gonna call it potential sharpness because these buildings, I'm at F2, I'm focused on the guy's face. And so there's, this is not a focus area in the photo, mostly. I just wanted to show you that if you have a Fuji RAW file, this product will work wonders on them. Okay, here's another typical subject for me, just kind of a street scene kind of thing going on around blue hour, something I love to shoot. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna to go to about 150. And what I wanna do is show you still how crisp this is. Now I've done nothing to it. You can see everything's at zero. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the color noise. Most of the time, I just go to 100 on color noise. Luminance, I tend to go fairly high, and that reminds me, there's an auto button. You can customize your user preference for kind of a low, medium, or high, and it'll default to that setting uh, based on uh, your preference. And so you do have some user customizable options. Um, now, I've done that. I'm gonna add some luminance noise reduction. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to 100 and add a little bit of detail. And what I wanna do is zoom in here. In fact, I'm gonna go more than 150. I'm gonna to go to 200. I want you to see how sharp this flag still is. In fact, there it is before and after. I actually think it's sharper now. So let's just go to 250. And I think it looks better now than it did before in terms of sharpness. There it is before and after. And yet I've got both luminance and color at 100 and enhanced detail only at 35. So I could come in, add some sharpening, those sort of things. But what I wanted to do is show you that on, you know, even in a darker scene like this, I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to tell, but maybe over here, yeah, it's going to be, you can tell over here. So this truck, for example, let me just scoot over. You can kind of see there's a fair amount of noise on that truck there on the left. And now on uh, that I've slid this over, you don't see the noise at all. So it cleans it up really well. It works intelligently. It works fast. It's super powerful. This AI stuff, my friends, is pretty fantastic. I'm excited about it. This is a, a, a boon, for lack of a better word. This is a fantastic development. If you're an on-one person already, or if you have Fuji and you're looking for a really solid raw file developer with uh, amazing no noise, on-one would be a fantastic choice for that. I can definitely see myself using this as part of my workflow. And one of the cool things about it is when you're finished, you can save it off in the DNG format if you would like to. So you can do your noise, noise reduction and then go ahead and save it in a raw format, which is fantastic. And as I said, because it's on one, you've got layers over here. So I'll come back and do a demo of that later, but you can actually customize the amount of noise reduction and sharpening that went into different areas of the photo because you can just duplicate the layer and then mask in a different setting as you see fit. 
So back to this example, I'll leave you with this one. I mean, honestly, that color and luminance noise reduction is insane. And I don't feel like I sacrificed anything in terms of file quality or sharpness, detail enhancement, things like that. Honestly, I think this product is pretty fantastic. As I said, you can get it at the link down below. It is for sale now. It sells for, I believe, $69. Also, it's not included in On One Photo Raw 2021, but it will be included in On One Photo Raw 2022, which I'm hoping will come out later this year and will be available as a paid upgrade for current users. So that's my first look. I'll come back and do some more slower kind of detailed things about the use of the product and how to get the most out of it. But I wanted to give you a first look and show you a number of quick examples about how well the noise reduction works, because honestly, like I said, it's a little bit mind blowing. It's fantastic. I'm really excited about it. Hope this gives you some idea. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Thanks for coming by, hanging out and checking out the video. And I'll see you soon. Take care and adios.